And we're back guys. Sorry. Uh, once again, I apologize for the barking dog. It's, uh, it's still happening. So we're just going to deal with it. We have Kronk in some passive training and he's pretty mad about it. You'll see he's pretty fussy. He knows what's coming next. Um, we're going to teach just a simple enrichment activity. You have everything you need for this in your own home. You don't have to go out and buy a crazy amount of puzzles or infinite Kongs or anything like that. Um, we are going to have to use our imagination because uh, we're going to pretend that this is a bath towel and not a towel rag. Okay. But there's no way I could sit and get you this kind of footage, the zoomed in cronk footage, um, and show a bath towel at the same time. So again, pretending this is a bath towel, uh, you can take their full meal. I have whatever's left over from our training because again we hit that point where I'm like okay anything after this he's just going to keep messing up keep messing up so instead we're just going to do something he's good at place um, and then we'll make up the enrichment activity and that'll be the end so again imagining this is a bath towel literally all you do is scatter their food all along the towel and now there are different levels of this. I'll show you each level. Okay, and again, doing it with a bath towel is a lot better because it takes them a little longer, but also, ah, ah. but there's more space to sort of spread out the kibbles. So the very first level of this, all you're doing, oh God, I have to do this one-handed. All you're doing is rolling up the towel. And you're like, this seems really easy. Well, if you've never done it before for a dog, they have to work out to not go through the towel, they have to push the towel. So this would be your first step, okay? And again, imagining it's a bath towel. You can roll it up lengthwise or widthwise, it doesn't matter. Um, I would go the shortest way first and then I would go the longer way. And then basically what they have to do is they have to like sniff and undo it to get their kibbles. It will take them longer to eat um, it should be a supervised activity just in case your dog starts shredding the towel. If they do, this is not an activity to do with them. Go look at a different enrichment activity, which, uh, no. No. Down. Good. Okay, so again, that was holding him accountable. As you can see with his little stampy feet, he just really wants to get in here. But uh, we don't negotiate with terrorists, Kronk. I know, the horror. You have to wait until I do the next step. Um, so the next step is like you basically roll it this way too. And let them go at it like that. Because they have to sort of, again, that would work better with a bath towel. Um, and now the next phase, I don't know how I'm going to film this. Um, the next phase would be you tie it into a knot. Okay, so let's imagine that I tied it in a knot there and then you give it to them like that and uh, they have to uh, work out the knot and then unroll it to get all their kibbles. And then the last phase is like you do the knot and then you tuck the ends in or you do a double knot. Like you basically just make it more and more challenging. So right here, I'm just going to let him at it like this since I can't um fix it oh i can make it a bit more challenging so you can also add a step so in this case he has to take the towel out he has to rummage through it or he has to like rummage through it like this so let's see how he does no good break get your gibbies Oh, on the deck. On the deck was a mistake. Out. Good. That's another thing to teach them, but we'll talk about that another day. Come here, pup. Get your gibbies. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, he's never, I've never put it in a bowl for him before. So it's going to take him a little while to figure out that he needs to take the towel out. But uh, that just goes to show you, like, you just change it up a little bit. And again, it's great for working their brain. He's going to be so tired when we go back inside, uh, which is great for us. And uh, it's all with things that you have at your home. Like, you don't need anything fancy to do this training. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini-series 
um, freaking mosquitoes, it's that season. And if there are other things you'd like to see, um, like if you're curious about what we're working on, because even I do sessions with him like this every once in a while, just to teach him new things. Um, so if you want to know what we're working on and how we're working on it, just uh, stay tuned, I guess. And we'll talk about those things too. So <laughs> hope you guys are having a good day and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.